Hey third graders, we are back to do more geometry and today we're going to work with area again. We're going to learn a little bit of a trick of how to figure out the area of a rectangle and you're going to have to use the multiplication that's in your brain. Okay, so I'm going to move you forward here so you can see a little better. And Okay, so let me turn you. Alright, so let's say Let's go over a little bit of our vocabulary that we need to know. So we've been dealing with mm, perimeter, right, which we were measuring with units, and in some cases centimeters, inches, things like that. But in on this board, this is a unit, right? On graph paper, we'd call these units because they're not an exact even though they're all the same, okay? Area, we measure it in square units, okay? So, as an example, we have a shape like this, let's say, okay? If we wanted to know its perimeter, which is the length of the line going around the boundary, like a fence line, we would say it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units for the perimeter. Right? Ten units. But if we wanted to me measure the area, we would say it's one, two, three, four, five. The area equals five. We can't just say units, because it's not just lines. We need to say square units. And we also learned that it was okay for us to use SQ with units to write out the label for how we're measuring the area. We also talked about how the um, measuring area would come in handy if you were measuring, uh, trying to find how much carpet you might need in a room, how much tile on a floor, how much wallpaper on a wall, a space, you're measuring the space on the inside. Right? So, there is a trick to area that's going to use what you know about multiplication. So, I want you to recognize that if I do a, let's say I make a rectangle like this, and keep in mind the square is a rectangle, it's just a perfect rectangle, okay? A rectangle is a rectangle if it has four sides, the opposite sides are parallel, the angles in the corners are like perfect square corners. Sorry, so these two lines are parallel, parallel, square corners, which we'll learn about later, and it has four sides. Four angles, four sides. So on this rectangle, I see as an area, I see three rows, sorry, four rows, okay, four rows of three. Four rows of three. Now, does this remind you of anything that we did in multiplication? The shape. This is an array. A rectangle cut into square units is an array. This array has four rows and there's three in each row. So I could count each one. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or I could use my multiplication facts, and I know that 4 times 3 equals 12 square units. That is my area. Area equals the length, I can use a little L as my symbol, the length times the width. I'm going to use a cursive L so that we remember that that's length. Length and not a 1, right? So area equals the length times the width. And I could have done 3 times 4. Remember, because we have the, the commutative property in which we switch those, we get, we're going to get the same product. So I'm going to write an, I'm going to make another rectangle. Make 
another rectangle. I'll make this one a little bit more complicated. And let's do this. Okay. In this one, it is one, two, three, four. Remember, we, we have to count the units. So it's one unit, two units, three units, four units across. And it's one, two, three, four, five units deep or long. I mean, you can decide which one's length, which one's width, right? So if area equals the length times the width, my length, I could say, is four. My width, I could say, is five. And four times five is 20. 20 square units is my area. I could check, I could verify my answer by counting them all up. I'm a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All that work you did in multiplication where I said, hey, make an array for 6 times 8, and you built this, you were creating a rectangle and telling me the area at the same time. It all goes together. So if you know your multiplication facts, calculating the area of a rectangle is going to be just like so, another thing is, I'm going to use this board this time. The cool thing is, is if we know it's a rectangle, and we know the length and the width, we don't need the square units to show, right? If I gave you a rectangle that was, let's say, 2 units by 4 units, then you could know, if you know that length times width equals the area, then you know that the area for this is 4 times 8, I mean 4 times 2, which is going to equal 8 square units, or 2 times 4. It doesn't matter which one you know first, okay? Now, if I wanted to visualize where that is in here, I have to, I can create the tiles, I can create the square tiles, the square units in there. I can do this, I can create four columns. Remember, it's not four lines, it's four spaces, four columns, four rows. And then turn that into two, and I end up with eight square units. Whew, it's like magic, right? So, I'm going to try it this way, I'm going to make a more difficult one. Let's say this is four units. Well, let's say this one is six units. If it's length times width, that equals area. Then what would my multiplication problem be? It's going to be my length times my width, or you could do this if I'm visualizing it the other way, right? But either way, I'm going to end up with 24 square units. Let's see if it works out. I have to cut this into, it's harder to do um, thirds and things like that, but we can do it. So there's six spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very important that when you're cutting things into tiles, you're not just counting six lines, because I didn't draw six lines. I had to create six spaces. Then I have to make four, and I end up with 24 tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 square units. 6 times 4 is 24. Okay? So, in this book, you are going to be asked to calculate area of a rectangle by using the multiplication. In some cases, though, it's going to ask you to create, create the tiles. Sorry. Create the tiles in a rectangle. So, for instance, if it says that this is 3 and this is 2, and it says to create the tiles to show my area, not just calculate it, I know that 3 times 2 equals 6. I know... I'm going to end up with six square units, but I have to show it. So I'm going to have to create my tiles 
like that. And it should end up being the same um, count, the same amount of tiles as you ended up with square units. You are creating square unit tiles. Okay? The pages in your book that you're going to do Um, you're going to do pages. We're gonna, it's going to be kind of a short one today. Pages 781 and 782. And, sorry. Pages 781 and 782. And it looks like this. Okay. In this one, it says to tile each rectangle. So you're going to create the tiles, even though you might already know what the square units are. I want to be able to see and you want to be able to practice creating those tiles so that you're building it, okay? And then, down here, you're not going to tile it, you're just going to calculate the area, the, the multiplication fact, okay? It says to write a multiplication equation, so you need to show what you multiplied to get it. And then on the back, it turns them into problems that would be real life problems. There's only a few, okay? So, that's the only pages you need to do, 781 and 782. And let me know if you need help. See you soon.